Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup, skincare, acne and acne positivity every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, I'd love for you to join the channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today we are going to be talking favorite skincare, best skincare that in my opinion has really really helped me over the past few months. So if you don't already know, last year in about June I started getting a really really bad hormonal acne flare up that kind of went all over my face and um, I got really bad cystic acne that was super painful literally everywhere it blew over on my face like wildfire and um, since then as those flare-ups have come down I was left with a lot of scarring and still tackling you know my hormonal acne on the side of that and kind of getting everything to tone down so there's a lot of skincare that I've been trying um, for the past few months that has really helped me and I really wanted to sit down and share with you my favorites that I've been using in my everyday routine because I feel like I haven't shared skincare with you guys in a long time especially like my current routine and what I'm using and I like to say that skincare is 30% of the equation um, when it comes to how your skin actually is going to look so this is not everything that's helped me I've done a lot like diet wise and lifestyle wise which I want to get into a, in a separate video but today I do want to focus just on skincare itself so we're gonna get started that's why I have makeup on because I want to go through the full routine with you guys from taking off my makeup all the way through. I'm super excited to get into this. So if you wanna see the skincare that I have been using recently to really help with my acne, my acne scars, and that's just really been helping me heal my skin barrier, just keep on watching. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, if I call you right back to check for monsters in my streets. Okay, so obviously I do have pretty glam makeup on right now, but I already have my little headband ready to go so let's start off by removing my makeup all right three makeup removers that i have been obsessed with the first one is the alpha h melting moment cleansing balm can we tell how much i liked this cleansing balm look at that it's completely empty i love this stuff guys so good for sensitive skin it really cleared out the pores of any makeup any sunscreen anything like that this was a really great one and good for my sensitive skin as well didn't irritate the eyes which i really liked next love the judo skin one obviously you can tell this is really loved because of the writing is all gone too um this one is also almost gone this is my second one of this so one of my true true favorites is from juno skin and then i also really like the april skin one um, this is the Hydro Melt Cleansing Balm. This one has a really beautiful color to it. But this one, as you can see, I have been loving a fair bit as well. And it's a really, really great cleansing balm as well. These three, like, I would say they're all pretty comparable in the way that they remove your makeup. I would say the Alpha H one is the best for um, waterproof makeup, but they all are pretty comparable and they all feel really good on the skin. I personally feel like a cleansing oil is the best makeup remover for my skin type because it doesn't rub my skin at all like a makeup wipe would and it actually gets all of the makeup off of the skin like really, really well. Eyeliner, everything gets it all off i'm gonna go rinse the rest of this off in my sink and i'll be right back the makeup is cleansed off the face look how well of a job that did of removing the makeup and the skin doesn't feel dry or stripped or anything like that which is my favorite part of using a cleansing balm next up though regular cleansers so after i go in with the cleansing balm i go in with a regular water-based cleanser these three have been my top favorites the la roche posay uh Tolerain. This is the perfect cleanser for sensitive skin. I've been using this a lot recently in the past few weeks because the winter here has been so dry and that's really been affecting how my skin is. My skin has been so dry and this stuff really does the job to help out my super dry and sensitive skin. It's a really good cleanser. It's not foaming, it's like a cream cleanser, but it still does the job to make sure that the skin is cleansed well without stripping it. Now, if I am if i went out and wore my makeup for 10 hours of the day and it's just feeling like ugh, and like my pores feel congested i will usually go in with this one from the inky list this is the five percent benzoyl peroxide cleanser and this really really helps mitigate those breakouts immediately overnight um especially those little ones i get some like around my mouth i haven't been getting hormonal acne as much um definitely just the small little ones here and there so this is a good one just to keep down any of that remaining acne that i still get every now and then 
And then this one right here has really been helping with my redness. So this is the Redness Relief Soothing Cleanser from Peach Slices. I really like this. I actually really like this whole line. You'll see it in the rest of the video, but this is a really great line for anyone who has sensitive skin, redness, anything like that. Like with my acne scars, obviously I don't use all these cleansers at the same time, but there's just one, some of the ones I've been loving recently. My skin feels pretty good today. So I'm going to go in with the, the La Roche Posay one. As you can see, it's a cream cleanser. I just go with this on my skin and cleanse the skin thoroughly. Okay, next let's talk face serums. Um, there's been a few that I've been liking to treat different issues. And again, I won't use these all at the same time, but you know, I'll use them kind of cycling them through so that I can get the benefits from them all. Polyglutamic is one that I really like since I have super dehydrated skin. This one I'll use more on a daily basis under my makeup typically in the morning, just because it plumps my skin up a little bit, which I really like. Um, I've also been absolutely obsessed with this Peach Slices Redness Relief as like Acid. Guys, this stuff is so good. I think it's really helped reduce my redness without sensitizing my skin. There are some azelaic acids I've tried, like the 10% from the Inculus, their Super Solutions one. Although this one is really, really good at targeting redness, I do see great improvements in my skin from this one. I do feel like this Peach Slices one is a little bit more suitable for my sensitive skin. Um, they're both great serums, but... I just find myself, like, I just find my skin tolerates the Peach Slices one a little bit better. My skin gets really red anytime I touch it, but I feel like it's just really been helping take down these acne scars a little bit more. You know, this is a very slow process treating acne scars, but slowly but surely we are tackling them. Another serum I've been liking has been the Banish Ceramide Plus Retinol Serum. I like this because ceramides really help the skin barrier and then retinol is a great ingredient um, to kind of help with scarring as well as acne as well. So this is a great retinol serum that can kind of target, you know, multiple issues at the same time without being too sensitizing to the skin. More like acne specific products, um, the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Duo, this is amazing. I really like this when I am, my skin is super, super dry, but I'm also breaking out at the same time. That's definitely an interesting situation. So this one is like a lotion that has um, salicylic acid in it. So it's not gonna completely dry out your skin. It's gonna be like a treatment and moisture in like as a duo. But if I'm just breaking out like in a few spots and I want to target them literally overnight, this kills acne so fast. This is from Clear Start. It's their breakout clearing booster. And it just comes like this really sanitary little bottle, which I really like. I usually just take a few dots of this. And anywhere that I have some spots, I just take this. Apply right on. I've been testing also some other acne spot treatments that are so good that I can't share with you guys yet, but I can't wait till I can because those are really, really great. But those are some treatments I've been liking. I try to keep it really simple. So cleanser, a little serum or treatment. And because I have acne and acne scars, I like to treat both things kind of simultaneously, but not applying it to the whole face. So I won't do like a salicylic all over and as like acid all over. I'll kind of pick and choose what I'm treating. So I'll treat my acne scars with an azelaic acid and then my acne with like a salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. Moisturizer, I have some favorites. The Omega Water Cream, really great under makeup. Similarly, the Tarte Drink of H2O, really similar formula for under makeup, especially if you have skin like mine where it's a bit more textured and it needs that extra like oomph of hydration. Water Cream is really great and those two are amazing options. But I've also really been loving the Peach Slices Redness Relief. When my skin was at its most irritating, this was really just helping me calm down the redness you can see how much I really love that and that's been a favorite this whole like this whole like peach slices line actually was really great but recently I've just been keeping it super super simple with the skincare and I've been using the em Embrilius Lavatories um, this is their sensitive version of their cream and I literally put a lot of this on like probably double of what regular moisturizers people use like I'm slathering this on because my skin is so so dry and I feel like moisture is one of the things that has helped my skin the most in healing and 
taking those acne scars down from what they used to look like again it's all about progress over perfection i always tell people this because people comment on my videos being like why would i take skin advice from you like you still have acne and acne scars and it's like it's really important to realize where i came from in my skincare journey yeah my skin is not perfect right now but like we've come a really really long way and I'm very proud of my skin progress so far and I definitely think some of these products have really made a difference in at least assisting my skin to heal. Now, something I've really been liking to make sure that this moisture that I put on actually stays and actually does the work to heal my moisture barrier is forms of slugging and capturing that moisture in. Saying that, I've been obsessed with Vaseline. Honestly, I just take like a scoop of this and apply it all over my face before I go to bed to slug and that will just capture that moisture and really help with acne scars and this will not make you break out. Um, Vaseline won't clog your pores so I've had a really good experience with this and it's so easy to find. You just pick it up at your drugstore and it's been such an easy thing to implement in my routine that has really really helped with my acne scars and just healing my skin. And something that does a very similar thing is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm. This is what I've been using more recently because my skin's been even more dry and this is just really good for scar treatment. Um, so of course they used to have their Cicaplast Balm B5, their original. This one right here with 1% dimethicone in it, but they just released their new version that has 9% dimethicone in it. And this is really going to help with scarring. So it's like a thick like lotion. It feels very silicone-like and silicone is actually one of the best things you can do for acne scars so i apply this over moisturizer and this product isn't like targeted just for acne scars it's targeted for scarring in general people use it a lot to heal scarring because scarring can take up to like two to three years to fully heal and this and adding moisture to scars and massaging is really really helpful I actually went to BAMP for the launch of this product with the brand and we had a dermatologist come in and talk about that and he talked a lot about skin massage and um, keeping that, you know, locking that moisture into the skin how that can help. So I've been using Cicaplast Balm and I feel like it's made such a difference in how my skin looks. My skin feels a lot more plump, glowy and just like has more life to it but it's also really been helping with those acne scars so i just apply that as you can see just a few steps there um obviously like i said i don't use all these products at the same time currently what i'm using is the face wash a little treatment as like acid a little bit of salicylic acid um and then moisturizer and a slugging type technique i've been using the sick of last ball okay i'm not the biggest eye cream person i know this has nothing to do with my acne or acne scars but i just want to throw it in here i have been reaching for these a bit more more as like a prep for makeup um the tarte wink of h2o is really good and also the pharmacy wake up honey eye cream these are both really really great because as i said i'm not the biggest eye cream person but because i've been doing such heavy moisturization to my face recently i don't want my under eyes to be like all like slip and slidey because my makeup will just shift but i still want there to be something that my makeup can lay over so that's why I've been using an eye cream and these have been really helping to give my eyelids that hydration and plumpness back without being greasy. But they're still moisturizing so I've really been enjoying them. Let's talk about some sunscreen. Okay, chemical sunscreen, if you're into that, I would recommend the La Roche-Posay. Um, they just make really great products for sensitive skin. And then if you're into K-Beauty, I would recommend this one from Skin1004. This is the Centella Hyla Sika Water Fit Sunscreen SPF 50. This is really plumping, really, really hydrating. I really love that one. And then if you are looking for a mineral sunscreen that is non-sensitizing to skin, literally the best, probably one of the best acne safe sunscreens that's mineral is the banish one this is the defender it's spf 50 and it blends onto the skin so good You're about two finger lengths i go through this so fast the banish team is so sick of me because i'm always like i need more sunscreen but this stuff is so good you do need to blend it in because it is a mineral sunscreen zinc and titanium based it just does such a good job at blending into the skin. This has never irritated me, made me break out or anything like that. And the founder of Vanish actually formulated the sunscreen for their kid who had really, really sensitive skin. So 
it's literally made for baby skin it's so good and you can use code lav5 if you want to save some money off banish no pressure there but just putting it out there i'll have that in the bio as well okay let's talk pimple patches because i use pimple patches so often because sometimes cysts or acne just needs a pimple patch because the last thing you should be doing is popping your pimples um first off i've been using some dark point patches these are from hero i don't know how well these work yet because i had just started testing them out so i'll keep you posted but i have some really deep scarring over here so i have been just testing these out here and there but i will keep you posted on that but for cysts the hero i don't have any more of them but the hero ones i'll put a photo on the screen those are really really good for those deeper cysts and then i recently discovered these from athena club I really like these. I used, I had this huge cyst on my chin. I used a couple of these and it really, really helped take it down in a few days. But I have so many favorites when it comes to pimple patches. I love the Peace Out ones. These have salicylic acid in them. So if you got a juicy one, that's a great one to use. The Ryel Miracle Patch Invisible is great for daytime. Um, Hero also has an invisible one, which is really great. Also some fun ones from like Bloom and Starface. There's so many, but pimple patches are something that I've really integrated to my routine so that I don't pick out my skin. And that way that will kind of reduce future scarring and it will help pimples heal faster. So you gotta get yourself some pimple patches. And another thing I've been doing to help out with the scarring is microneedling using Banish. I use the Banish microneedling tool here about once a week every one to two weeks and then their vitamin c oil with that their banish oil little combo here and that i feel like has also just been helping my acne scars over time it's not a miracle worker but over time reduce in redness and also in the indentation okay and last category i want to talk about is exfoliation now i feel like this year in skincare i have gotten way more like everything i showed you was like hydration 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 moisturization moisturization like that is the route i'm taking with my skincare as gentle as nourishing as it can be to the skin that's what i want whereas last year when i didn't have all this acne scars and when i didn't have this crazy acne i was all about that exfoliation all the time which i've been avoiding it because now i can get into it more since my actives are mostly gone and i just have scarring left but i'm still weary because i want my moisture barrier to heal fully but let's say my skin is really going through it and i need some type of exfoliation these are two that i've really liked the bubble deep dive aha ph exfoliating mask i like this because it's really gentle and it's very surface level exfoliation and it'll just get that dead skin off and then i can go in with my really nourishing night products and be good so this is a great one they also have a um night mask overnight mask that's really hydrating as well that one's really good for bubble two and then the pumpkin enzyme mask from banish this has been a long time favorite of mine i just love this because it exfoliates it's not too harsh on the skin and it gives your skin that really really beautiful glow so i really enjoy this one Whew. i think my skin is all skinned out and ready to go for the day wow i feel like i just talked for like I feel like i was just talking forever my skin is a little red right now it always gets a little red when i am doing my skincare and all of that but those have been my favorite favorite products in the past few months that i've been using religiously a lot of great stuff in here a lot of great ingredients and i'm really really proud of the skin progress i've made we're nowhere near perfect but honestly no one really has perfect skin and i'm excited to see where my skin looks like in just a few months from now because we've already come such a long way with the progress in these past few months and of course skincare is not the only thing that's been helping me um diet lifestyle changes all of that which i want to make a separate video on but i did want to share all of my favorite skincare recently because i have been getting a lot of questions on tiktok being like kate we get it girl like your skin is looking so much better but what are you using so i wanted to just put everything in a youtube video that's all here that you guys can go through and watch and figure out what my favorite products are so hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me i'm so grateful to share my whole acne journey with you guys and go through this whole skincare you know growth with everyone here so thank you for being a part of that journey if you did enjoy make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video and if you like this type of skin positivity content you're gonna love my podcast you're gonna love it let me tell you 100 percent satisfaction guaranteed um my podcast is called loud talk with lavi it's basically a podcast where we break down the walls of beauty standards one flaw at a time so if that's something you would like to listen to you can tune in on apple spotify um we also show the video version on youtube and we also do have the highlight reels on instagram tiktok and shorts as well so hopefully you go check that out 
But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss out on another video. And if you want to see more content from me, you can go check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Lavinia Rosanda for more daily content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back.